so tough. Incredible! That's a New Ali gateway. It requires two keys. They're probably scattered somewhere in the New Ali temple. Very good, but watch yourselves. This looks to be one of the oldest structures in the Savage Land. Professor Xavier would like to have a word with you. You've done an exemplary job, but now I would ask you to return to Avalon and speak with Destiny. She recently had visions that might provide you with some useful information. Hello, X-Man. What do you need? I do not control the visions, and they are sketchy because the future is fluid. Con I'm a... Picard. He... A I'm... It's good to see you again. Any questions?
Hello, my friend. What can I do for you? I hope to see... Which mission briefing would you like? Destiny had a most disturbing vision of the future. It spoke of the death of beast, a victory by apocalypse, and your having been betrayed by a teammate. <sighs> Okay. Affirmative. Okay. Got it. Sunfire. New X-Men! Nah, this 
will be fun! Gambit. It's been in Mardi Gras. Searching for beast, are you? <laughs> You'll never get to him in time. Working for Apocalypse, he has promised me my own domain to rule in his new world order. But I would have done it for free, had I known I would get the chance to crush worms like you. To decipher the symbols on these walls, it took quite a bit of persuasion. But in the end, he did as he was commanded. The previous scientist for Apocalypse was slow in providing the translations. His employment was terminated in a most unpleasant way. His task is completed, so Beast is no longer of use. He is to meet the same fate as the translator before him. And speaking of terminations, your time has come, my friends. <laughs>
Affirmative. They have made it much further than expected. Indeed. I would have thought Omega Red would have finished them off. Perhaps he got careless. Duh. Omega Red was always a bit overconfident. Bodyguards for Miguel. He would love to kill you personally, but he has other demands on his time. Such as putting your friend, Beast, to death. Which means we get the pleasure of killing you. Ah! No! I cannot be beaten! You almost disrupted a very important mission. Luckily I succeeded and now you are too late. Apocalypse's plans are in motion. <laughs> I sincerely doubt that. Dr. McCoy, he has ceased to be of use to me. Even if I were inclined to do as you say, it is too late. He is already dead. This angers you, that is good, because you will need that anger if you ever hope to defeat me! <laughs> you cannot defeat all of you! I lack the power to do that. The more you fight me, I the more Switch to something a little more entertaining. They got the energy for that. Good. Very good. Try it. But what now? <laughs> that control panel is in the wrong position for you to use it. You are beginning to feel smart, huh? Yeah, I am mighty! Jumping twice I as am many beings. Da! That may be the correct location, but... Are you smart enough to use it? will do you no good in that location. Let's 
Let's give it to Gap, shall we? Sure. Hmm. I will comply. No. Yes. in that location. I'm 
<laughs> You're too late. You see the chamber Beast is in? It is filled with a poisonous gas. Duh. And he has been in there for over five minutes. He is as good as dead. Affirmative. <laughs> yes, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Greetings, my friend. Why the big smile? Well, for all intents and purposes, it appeared as though I was deceased. So her prediction did come true, in a sense. I'd love to. One minute and it'll be there. Professor Xavier's really happy to hear your friend Beast is okay. Stop by and see him the next time you're at Avalon. I'm surprised you have to ask. My daily laps in the pool keep me in tip-top shape. Well, to be completely honest, I've been able to hold my breath for almost ten minutes ever since I mutated my teenage years. The Nuwali Temple contained symbols Apocalypse needed me to transcribe. Apparently, the previous translator was not swift enough. May he rest in peace. Initially, I refused to aid Apocalypse, but then he threatened to kill Polaris and Quicksilver, so I capitulated. They were instructions for building a machine. What it does exactly, I'm not certain. I only worked with a part of them. Most had been translated by my deceased predecessor. Regrettably, not in person, but I did see them on a vid screen and they appeared to be quite fit, considering their current situation. That is a mystery to me, but I'd be willing to bet it has something to do with that machine I translated the blueprints for. I owe it all to your efforts, my friend. Thanks to your having defeated Apocalypse's horseman, Mikhail, the threat to Avalon has been removed, and this untamed wilderness known as the Savage Land is once again safe. Now we can set our sights on stopping the army of Apocalypse from endangering anyone else. To do this, we will have to travel to the old Weapon X facility and set up a base camp there. Would you like to go now? HQ, this is Red 7 on patrol. We got a heavy storm front coming up. Other than that, all's quiet. Wait a minute. We got bogeys, hundreds of them. HQ, what are my orders? and their mightiest city is under my control. Soon, I will show this world a war, the likes of which has never been seen. I will weed out the weak and inferior, so that only the strong survive. Thank you. 
Greetings. You've no doubt noticed the old Weapon X facility is our latest headquarters. I find it every bit as discomforting as you, but we have limited options. Precisely. Apocalypse's invasion of New York City was incredibly swift, and the attack coincided with a number of high-ranking leaders mysteriously falling into comas. No, and the situation is quickly growing worse. Department H reports that Apocalypse is planning attacks on major cities around the world. We cannot allow that. Therefore, our primary objective will be to disable his military infrastructure. At the moment, we know of two facilities important to Apocalypse's war machine, the Core and the Infinite Factory. For more information on these locations, please talk to Heather Hudson and Angel. Feel free to familiarize yourself with our new surroundings, but once you've finished, move quickly. The fate of the world may well hang in the balance. Well, ain't this just a cozy getaway? You imagine right. This place gives me the creeps like nothing else in this world. This is where they worked on me. Against my will. They changed me. Did all kinds of crazy stuff. I was one of the guinea pigs they experimented on. They wanted to turn me into some kind of ultimate killing machine. That's how I wound up with adamantium covering my bones. They made the mistake of thinking they had me under control. It was a fatal mistake on their part. After letting them know I wasn't a satisfied customer, yeah, I broke out and headed into the wilderness. I was half out of my mind with pain, so I don't remember a whole lot. But when I woke up, I found myself in the cabin of James and Heather Hudson. They were some real good friends who helped me heal up. Then they got me on board Alpha Flight. But that's a story for another time. Yeah, sure, whatever. How would you like to know the location of Apocalypse's infinite factory? That's where Apocalypse creates his army of clones. Yes, if you destroy the factory and the supercomputer that runs it, Apocalypse's war effort would be seriously hampered. But in return for the location, I'd need a favor of you. Department H sent my husband, James McDonald Hudson, on a mission to the infinite factory. I haven't heard from him since. Please, could you see if he needs help? Thank you. Use the X-Jet to get to the Infinite Factory. If you'd like more information, use the briefing computer near Professor Xavier. I'm Heather Hudson. My codename is Vindicator. I'm a member of Alpha Flight, along with my husband, James McDonald Hudson. Yes, both of us work for Department H. It's a top secret agency for Canada's Ministry of Defense. It's where my group, Alpha Flight, calls home. Yes, he was. But we had some personality troubles and Wolverine decided to leave. They are the soldiers that make up the army of Apocalypse. Thousands are generated every day. No, they're actually the work of an evil genius named Mr. Sinister. He created their genetic blueprint. And he was the one who created the cybernetic implants that make them so incredibly fast and strong. He's a brilliant geneticist born over 150 years ago. He found a kindred spirit in Apocalypse, since they both were advocates for survival of the fittest. Eventually, Apocalypse granted Sinister immortality. Yes, oddly enough, Sinister is one of the few people who makes Apocalypse uneasy. Sinister is a master of playing both ends against the middle. And because of that, Apocalypse has never been completely certain of Sinister's loyalty. Come back anytime.
It took a lot of searching and more than a little not-so-gentle persuasion, but I managed to locate the core. A nuclear plant in Ontario, Canada. It's Apocalypse's primary source of energy. If you could disable it, Apocalypse's military would be starving for power. Which is exactly why Forge is going to guide you through the core over the radio. He wanted me to give you this transceiver. He'll explain why later. To get to the core, you'll have to use the X-Jet. If you want more info, go see the mission computer. Some mutant named Sugar Man. He's supposed to be one seriously rough character. Nobody wants to talk about him. He's tough enough that Apocalypse was willing to leave him in charge of their primary source of energy. I tracked down a man named Sebastian Shaw in New York City. He's the leader of the Hellfire Club. At the moment, they have as little use for Apocalypse as we do, so Shaw was willing to give me the information. These are strange times, I know, but Shaw has spies everywhere. If anyone would know about the core, it'd be him. No, he didn't, but that's the nice thing about being as wealthy as I am. Sometimes it comes in real handy. What are you talking about? We've all been. It's the only way to stop Apocalypse. You worry about yourself. I'll be fine. Oh, I always do. Well, if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. He was pretty banged up after his little adventure in the Savage Land. It's going to be a day or two before he's back on his feet again. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. It'd take a lot more than five minutes in poisonous gas to hurt that big blue ape. You won't find better prices anywhere else. Which mission briefing would you like? Thanks to the efforts of Angel, we've located Apocalypse's primary source of energy in Ontario, Canada. It's a nuclear power plant known as the core. So this core is to be our next target? Yes, Mr. Wagner. Our goal will be to render that facility useless to Apocalypse. All right, finally we get a fun mission. I ain't never busted up a nuclear power plant before. That ought to make a lot of noise when it goes off. I'm sorry, Juggernaut, but we have to be a bit more careful than that. Charles is adamant that we avoid a nuclear meltdown. Hmm. Don't that sound just like my little brother? Always taking the fun out of everything. Once the team arrives at the core, Forge will take them through very specific steps to shut down the facility. Hey, hold on a tick. How do we know this ain't some kind of trap? You know, like Destiny was saying, a team member is gonna betray us. Are you suggesting Angel would send us into a trap? Oh, I'm not suggesting it. I'm saying it right out loud. Angel might be handing us over to Apocalypse. You know, the little guy's got a point. Ah, uh, that is preposterous. Angel would never do such a thing. But what about that shore bloke Angel got the info from? Maybe he's working for Apocalypse and he's sending us to our doom. What would you have us do, Toad? Trust no one? Never leave on another mission? There's a thought. No, I will not allow us to fall into the trap of second-guessing every action. 
We're going to the core, and that's final. Which mission briefing would you like? Thanks to Department H, we have the location of the factory that produces Apocalypse's army. <laughs> His army's produced? Yes. Infinites are clones created from vats of genetic material and then enhanced with cybernetic implants. Wow. And thousands of those get cranked out every day? It's no wonder Apocalypse had such an easy time attacking New York City and Genosha. If we were to disable that factory, we'd strike a severe blow to Apocalypse. His unending supply of soldiers would dry up. So, what's the price? I beg your pardon? Department H told us the location. What do they want in return, huh? Money, information, manpower. I know those boys, and they don't work for free. Is Wolverine always this distrustful? Bah. It takes him a while to trust someone. Yeah, <laughs> usually four or five years. Go ahead and make your jokes. But I got plenty of reasons to suspect Department H. I can't tell you the number of times they tried to force me back into their little family. Department H did make a request of us. I knew it. I just knew it. They asked if we could look for James McDonald Hudson while we were at the factory. He was sent there a while ago to do reconnaissance, and he hasn't been heard from since. They got James. We can't be certain. Then we better get there pronto and find out. As you wish, Wolverine. Team, the best of luck to you at the Infinite Factory. Cyclops. Jean Grey. Iceman. Wolverine. Let's work together, team. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I'll be using the X-Jet to take you to any of the distant missions. Just use the X-Jet to pick a location. My name's Alex Summers. I'm the brother of Scott Summers. You might know him as Cyclops. Yeah, I can discharge waves of force from my hands. But unlike Scott, I have full control of my ability. I'd like to, but uh, there's a little concern about trust. You know perfectly well why. Okay, so maybe I helped the Brotherhood for a little while. But I thought it was for the good of mutant kind. Hey, if you remember, I tried to stop them. Anyway, I think it's going to be quite a while before I'm allowed to be a full member of the team again. Come back anytime you want me to fly you somewhere.
up. Good luck, guys. Remember to use that recall transmitter beside you if you want me to pick you up. Havoc out. And this is where my broadcast day begins. If we can shut down this power plant, we'll take away Apocalypse's primary source of energy. But watch yourselves. Nuclear reactors don't take kindly to a lot of rough stuff. Find a console that's hooked into the building-wide network and attach your transceiver to it. Right. It'll let me see what we have to do to shut the reactors down. I knew you would be. Forge, out. Sure. You ain't supposed to do that. Stay down. That's not a fair fight. <laughs> for that.
Good job. Give me a second to look around. Okay, the good news is, we can permanently shut the core down. The bad news is, if we do it wrong, we wind up killing everyone in a 10-mile radius. I agree. Find the reactor security area. It contains a console that'll let you drop the force field in front of the reactor area. Forge out. Yeah! I'm even cooler now!
Yes.
Definitely stronger. Sweet dreams.
I'm even cooler now. Great. Now you can access the two reactors, one in the blue sector and one in the yellow sector. But before you do anything else, you have to drop the rods and then activate the reactors. If you don't drop the rods first, you'll be subjected to harmful levels of radiation. Here, I can open the door to the next section. Forge out. for the yellow reactor. I just keep getting better. Negative.
Good job. Now it's running at full capacity. And since you already dropped the rods, there won't be any radiation generated. Next, you have to drop the rods in the blue reactor. Good. Forge out. The next level. Excellent. Now locate the power console for the blue reactor and activate it. Job. That opened the radiation containment doors. Now you can get into the last section of the core. You need to locate the two coolant pumps and destroy them. Forge out.
Sorry about that. Hi again, what can I get you? You won't find better prices anywhere else. Iceman. Let's do this.
Let's keep moving. All 
My target's down! Target's down! I just keep getting better. and disable it. There's just no stopping me! Will do. Sure. Excellent. We've got just one last step. Find the primary power console and activate it. That will fuse the rods and make the reactor useless. Forge out. Yes.
your worst nightmare, Pally. The name Sugar Man, though I know you don't know. You know? I'm from an alternate future, one where Apocalypse took over the world. Ah, but then the X-Men had to go and ruin it all. Still, I managed to escape this timeline, and Apocalypse was willing to take me in. <laughs> I'll tell you, that guy's as good as gold in any universe. But enough about me, chum. I gotta get busy and kill ya. Don't wanna go upsetting the boss man, you know? Apocalypse has got a real wicked temper. Just like me. <laughs> Yes. You betcha. is a lot tougher I'm than you definitely look. stronger. Okay, back to business, you guys. Find the primary power console and activate it. Will do. Good job, guys. The rods in both reactors just fused. That power plant's useless to Apocalypse now. Your mission's complete at the core. Blink, could you create a portal near the power console so they can return to camp? Sure thing, Forge. There you go. I'll leave it active indefinitely. No big deal. You are the ones in danger, not me. Forge out. Iceman. Wolverine. Sunfire. Gambit Rogue Nightcrawler This better than Mardi Gras!
Good job at the core. Ford said you completely trashed it. Well, that ought to shut him down for a good long time. I tracked down a man named Sebastian Shaw in New York City. He's at the moment, they have as little use for Apocalypse as we do. Oh, I always do. Hi again, what can I get you? You won't find better prices anywhere else. Ain't you got something better to do than bug me? Yeah, sure.
Hey, you looking to go somewhere? Come back anytime you want. Watch yourselves. This place gives me the creeps just seeing it from the outside. And be sure to use that recall transmitter beside you if you want me to pick you up. Havoc out. I was sent to destroy this factory, but they captured me shortly after I arrived. Luckily, a spy for Department H is here. He just set me free. No, I'm staying until this factory is shut down. I can't go with you, so give me a radio and I'll help you out as you go. I've had a thorough briefing on this facility. You'll have to destroy three sections of this plant. Fusion core, engineering, and genetic processing. Also, keep an eye out for a security card Department H gave me. I hid it just before I was captured. That card can unlock a number of devices for you. destroy the engineering, fusion core, and genetic processing areas, the door should unlock to allow additional security forces through. My name is Robert McKenzie. I am a special agent for Department H. We, oui, but now I am the one who needs help. I came here to steal the genetic plans Monsieur Sinister developed for the Infinite Soldier, but security has been alerted to my presence. I cannot move without being caught. Très bon. There is a console nearby that contains the information. You should have little trouble finding it.
Most definitely. The problem is those pumps are extremely tough. The only way to damage them would be to overload them with power. You'll have to overdrive the system, but before that, you have to locate the console that deactivates the safety override. Sugar.
be a security console somewhere in that area, but you also might be able to supercharge a generator near you. That would circumvent the whole process. Congratulations, you've just destroyed the pumps. You're done in the engineering section now. Wait, I'm on your side. We, oui, I came here. Très bon.
Merci beaucoup. You have no idea how this will aid us if Department H is able to find a weakness in the infinites. Bonne chance, and thank you again. Locate the core reactor and then do what you do best. Smash it to bits. Thank <laughs> you. 
find power to grow in strength. As you wish.
Okay. You need to destroy the DNA storage tank. It contains the raw material used to create infinites.
Hi again. What can I get you? It was my pleasure. With that power plan out of commission, Apocalypse's military is going to grind to a halt in a matter of days. I'm sure in a few weeks you'll come up with alternative energy sources, but it's going to be a struggle. Luckily, one size fits all. Any questions? Hi again, what can I get you? Sorry, no credit.
Luckily, one size fits all. I will comply.
additional energy to do that. Shouldn't have gone messing with Gambit. some way to simply destroy the tanks.
Got it. Sugar. take a month to create another batch of that DNA material. Your work in genetic processing is done. You did a fine job of disabling the first three sections of this factory. Now you need to shut down the assembly area. Anytime I can be of help, just let me know. You did a fine job. This is the Infinite Factory. It's a genetic assembly line where Apocalypse's soldiers are created. Yes, and their one mission in life is to fight for their master, Apocalypse. It's more a matter of what than who. A supercomputer is the boss here. It's based on the intelligence of Mr. Sinister. According to Department H, it's every bit as devious and cunning as the man it's patterned after. I'm their leader. Not that I set out to be. I had picked Wolverine to be the head of Alpha Flight, but for some reason he decided to quit the team. Puck, Sasquatch, Shaman, and my wife, Vindicator. But you might know her as Heather Hudson. A little too well. When my wife and I first encountered Logan in a Canadian forest, he was crazed. More animal than man. But we nursed him back to health. And during that time, he and I became like brothers. Yes, and he did extremely well. Probably the best I've ever seen. But he began to grow distant and he eventually quit to join the X-Men. What really bugs me is, he never told me why. Anytime I can be of help, just let me know.
You have to disable the controllers for each of the assembly lines. And once that's done, you need to locate the cryogenic area and destroy the substations there. I require additional energy to do that. Shouldn't have gone messing with Gambit. this.
That's good news. Now you'll have to destroy the supercomputer that runs this entire infinite factory. If you don't, it'll rebuild the entire facility in a matter of weeks. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be tough. It's based on the neural patterns of Mr. Sinister, so it thinks exactly like him. Shouldn't have gone messing with Gambit. Come on! You bet.
Need more power to do that. Mr. Sinister. It's the supercomputer based on his intellect. Is that you, Guardian? A pity those torture sessions were cut short. But he is correct. I am a computer modeled on Sinister's genius, which is why I will be the one to defeat you.
explosion. Department H is going to be very pleased to hear that. I'll ask Blink to create a portal to the Weapon X facility. Come see me when you get back. And has there been any word on my husband? Yes, I'm here. Just in a different area of the factory. Ah, oh, James McDonald Hudson. How dare you not tell me you are safe? Sorry, hon. Guess I just got a little caught up in saving the world from the forces of darkness. That's not one bit funny, but at least you're all right. I'll ask Blink to generate a portal for you, too. Yeah, my powers grow in strength. I can't thank you enough for saving James. He's confined to bed, but he'll be up and around in a few days. Well, you have the gratitude of Department H, Alpha Flight, and most of all, me. Thank you. Come back anytime. Hi again, what can I get you? Sorry, no credit.
I just received news from Emma Frost. You recall when Apocalypse attacked New York City, a number of top leaders fell into comas? Emma's discovered a temple that's housing former students of hers who are responsible for those comas. If we can disband this group, their victim should be released from their unnatural slumber. To reach that location, use the X-Jet. If you'd like additional information, activate the mission computer for a full briefing. We have Mr. Sinister to thank for that. Their military is comprised entirely of clones, known as Infinites. Thousands are manufactured every day. Yes, they're aided by cybernetic implants and an impeccable genetic structure. Infinites are not to be taken lightly. Magneto and I felt it most important to stop Apocalypse from attacking other cities. I understand your concern, but we cannot allow Apocalypse to acquire additional territories. Were he successful, he would command an almost unending supply of resources from which to create his army. I look forward to seeing you again. Is there something you need? Oh, I always do. Which mission briefing would you like? Emma, can you broadcast to everyone here at the briefing? Need you ask, Charles? It's not as if I'm a first-year student. No, of course not. My apologies. Would you be so kind as to tell everyone what you've learned? Certainly. Charles asked me to discover who, or what, is responsible for the coma suffered by the leaders during the attack on New York City. Yes. The military was paralyzed because of it, and they still haven't recovered. It was a rather masterful stroke on the part of Apocalypse, but after a long search, I was able to confirm those comas were indeed psychic-induced. Who would do such a thing, Emma? I'm fairly certain this is the work of former students of mine. The Stepford Cuckoos? Please, Bobby, I'd appreciate you not using that title. Aren't those the three sisters who left the school after the fourth one was killed during a mission? Yes, and they've always blamed me for her death. I imagine they joined Apocalypse as some misguided attempt at revenge. So, where are these young ladies now? I trace them to an ancient temple in Canada. Apocalypse has a large number of his priests guarding them. Apocalypse has priests? Oh yes. True to his egomaniacal form, Apocalypse has built an entire cult that worships him. They call themselves Madri Priests. What would you have us do, Miss Frost? I'll meet you at the front of the temple, and we'll explore the interior together. If this does turn out to be the work of my girls, they're going to find out in exquisite detail just how unhappy I am. Boy, glad I'm not them. Very good, Emma. A team will be sent immediately. Thank you, Charles, my sweet. I await their arrival.
storm. Bishop. Colossus. New X-Men! Sunfire. The time for battle is upon us! Watch yourselves. This place looks like something from an old black and white horror movie. And don't forget to use that recall transmitter if you need to get back to camp. About time you people showed up. I was beginning to think you were lost. I grew tired of waiting, so I started searching for my wayward students alone. You'll do no such thing. I'll find you after I've had a chance to investigate this temple a little more. Now do be a dear, and don't get killed as you roam the halls. Yes, if I have a flaw, it's that I care too much. Ta-ta, dears.